there was 11 murders in a short period of time in 1996 that had this community scared um, and wanted to know how and why and now we know. It's a 1996 case, we had disadvantages. You know, we didn't have cell phones back then, we didn't have the technology, we didn't have these communications where you can see. Um, but, you know, we had a witness step forward who was very helpful. Um, you know, people, a lot of people in this community wanted these crimes solved. They wanted to know who did this, so a lot of people stepped up. Um, like I told them in the courtroom, people still care 27 years later. And that was helpful to us and was allowed, it allowed us to fill those gaps that would have existed had people like that not stepped up. I think there's, there's a group of cases, I think about five, that really, by the time the bodies were found, they were pretty significantly decomposed. There's not much we can do on those. There's others where DNA, hopefully, uh, now that we have what we have, we can compare to. I don't, uh, he'll go from here. Once he's sent, he'll go to Maryland to face murder charges down there. Um, so the hope is, is that we can find more and get more. Um, our lab here, again, fantastic. What they're doing is, is they've put out a basically an issue my message. If you have a murder that you suspect he might have been involved in, they're willing to test and do the comparison. Good portion of the time, there was no way to track them. So really, we don't know. Um, you know, CODIS is a great system. That's how we got connected uh, with Maryland's case because of CODIS hit uh, from DNA. Um, we both hit on that. Then we were able to do more investigation to determine that he was in the locations where that victim started and died. Um, they actually have probably a stronger case than we do with regards with their evidence. So, I mean, only time will tell. He doesn't have a lot of time left. This is why we kind of sped up this process. We thought both the family and the community needed justice now rather than after he passes away. And that's why we did this. We wanted we want to do this as quickly as possible. DNA and genealogy is, is changing everything. You know, and our amazing detectives who, who didn't give up on this case and who looked for um, other leads, it's absolutely incredible. He will never see the free world again. He will never be a risk to any woman out there again.